The formula for calculating accounts receivables turnover is as follows. Accounts receivables turnover ratio equals to net credit sales divided by average accounts receivable. Here, net credit sales are the revenue sales generated by a company by allowing the extension of credit to customers less all sales returns and sales allowances. It does not include any sales where the payment is made in cash immediately by the customers. And, average accounts receivable is the average balance of the accounts receivable during any specific period of time. Accounts receivable is a very important concept in business. It represents money owed by the customers to the company. The money owed is against the goods or services bought by the customers on credit. Now let's look into a mathematical example of accounts receivables turnover ratio formula. The example states, Murphy Foods is a retail store that sells groceries. Murphy offers credit options to his customers. After the financial year closing, Murphy was having $10,000 accounts receivable amount in his balance sheet. The gross credit sales for the financial year was $40,000, and $15,000 was the sales returns. Murphy's last year's balance sheet showed $15,000 of accounts receivable. As we know, the formula for accounts receivables turnover ratio is, net credit sales, divided by, average accounts receivable. In order to calculate Murphy's turnover ratio, we need to calculate net credit sales and average accounts receivable first. We can calculate net credit sales after adjusting sales return, that is, net credit sales, equals to, gross credit sales, minus, sales returns. Here we can see, gross credit sales is $40,000, and sales returns is $15,000. So, putting the values we get, net credit sales, equals to, $40,000, minus $15,000, which gives $25,000 as the net credit sales. Now, Murphy's average accounts receivable can be calculated by taking an average of accounts receivable. That is, average accounts receivables, equals to, sum of opening balance and closing balance, divided by 2. Here, opening balance is $10,000, and closing balance is $15,000. So, Average accounts receivable, equals to, $10,000, plus, $15,000, divided by 2, which gives $12,500 as the average accounts receivable. Now we have both values of net credit sales and average accounts receivable. So, we can now calculate Murphy's accounts receivable turnover ratio just dividing the net credit sales by the average accounts receivable. So, Accounts receivables turnover ratio, $25,000 in net credit sales, divided by, $12,500 in average accounts receivable, which gives 2 as the accounts receivables turnover ratio. This shows Murphy's turnover is 2. It means Murphy collects his receivables 2 times a year or once every 180 days. That is, the estimated time Murphy takes to collect the cash is 180 days in case of credit sales.